Hello, and welcome to a series of videos on the model-driven CLI, which is being introduced in release 16.0.01. This video introduces the new model-driven CLI. We provide a view of what to expect when you log in to the router. We then take you through the steps to configure the router, and present you with the model-driven CLI. In this release, the router can be placed into different CLI modes, where the classic CLI is the default. We can change the router to the model-driven CLI mode by configuring the option in the system management interface. If we look at the CLI and info detail show the default configuration mode, set for classic. Changing the configuration mode to model driven and logging out and back in presents the model driven CLI. Notice here that the current context is displayed before the prompt. In this case, it is the root context and the username is also shown in the prompt. Currently we are in the operational mode of the router, where we can display the running configuration as usual, with the admin show config command. We can enter the candidate mode by using the edit config exclusive command to take us into the configuration context. Commands can be entered here as usual. We can view the changes to the CLI defaults, using the standard info command in the system management interface. Next, we change the system name. Notice this change is not activated until we enter a commit command. At any time. We can switch between the model-driven CLI and the classic CLI by using the double forward slash. This brings us to the end of this video. Please watch additional videos, or read the documentation for more information on the model-driven CLI.